In today's video, we will explain why Europe does not have any mega-tall skyscrapers. While continents like Asia are home to some of the tallest skyscrapers in the world, Europe seems to be lacking. And even though North America does not have nearly as many super-tall buildings as Asia, it still has way more towers than Europe. So, why is this the case? Is Europe expecting some new megatall skyscrapers sometime in the near future? Before we go on, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. By the time skyscrapers were being built in places like Chicago and New York City in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, most European cities were already established. They wanted to preserve their historical structures since old architecture was a big part of the overall culture. When North America became a more dominating international force, tensions between them and Europe quickly rose. Americans perceived European society as outdated, while Europeans believed that Americans were throwing away traditional values. This meant that Europe wanted to avoid succumbing to American influences, so they refused to invest in new skyscrapers because North America was. Once the Second World War ended in September of 1954, many of Europe's most cherished historical buildings were completely destroyed. The entire continent was tasked with reconstructing cities from scratch, but they did not want to modernize their structures. Instead, Europeans hoped to imitate the same architectural designs that defined the continent before the war. During that time, other continents, such as North America, constructed buildings that were higher than ever before. Europeans, however, were just trying to rebuild their cities. Because the overall population in Europe was lower, there was little demand for the floor area. Since this is what drives the construction of skyscrapers, buildings typically were not planned to be as high as in America at the time. Instead, the majority of new buildings were constructed to be low-rise ones, similar to the pre-war era. Around 20 years later, height restriction laws were instituted during the 1960s and 70s. These types of rules were usually set in place to preserve the aesthetics of major cities like Paris. Europeans did not want the touristy sites of their favorite areas to be blocked by tall buildings. That's why Paris, for example, has a special district outside of the city called La Défense, where skyscraper construction is allowed. Fast forward to today, Europe's aversion to skyscrapers has changed a little bit. The demand for floor space did increase with the turn of the 21st century, especially in the major financial districts. Places such as London are now home to some of the tallest towers in Europe, including a building known as the Shard. The Shard is currently the tallest tower in all of Western Europe, standing at 310 meters or 1,016 feet in height. However, there are currently only a handful of well-known skyscrapers on the continent. The majority of them are located in just a couple of cities, such as Frankfurt, Moscow, London, and Paris. Height restriction laws continue to prevent many European cities from building megatall buildings even if they want to. For example, in places like Rome, no one is allowed to construct a taller tower than 136 meters, or 446 feet. This is to prohibit the view of St. Peter's Basilica from being obstructed. However, some people have found loopholes in these restrictions. In 2012, a skyscraper known as the Torre Yurovsky was built at 155 meters or 508 feet in the sky. Since it was technically outside of the area which the ban covers, it was allowed to be constructed despite still being in the city of Rome. Another reason why Europe doesn't have many skyscrapers is that some cities simply do not have a landscape that would be suitable for constructing megatall skyscrapers. In cities such as Berlin, mud that can be as deep as 80 meters or a little over 260 feet makes it impossible for tall buildings to come to fruition. Europeans would have to invest an exorbitant amount of money into these types of areas in order to even consider constructing skyscrapers there. In general, citizens see new super-tall buildings as a nuisance that will block the view of many important historical sites. 
Urban centers are considered to be the heart of many European countries, and people do not want to alter these areas and potentially ruin them with mega-tall skyscrapers. Some European cities have even taken it upon themselves to actively campaign against the construction of tall buildings, once word of such plans begins to spread. Even the deputy mayor of Paris attacked the United Kingdom's government for planning to build a skyscraper in London. Many European countries, such as Switzerland and Sweden, are more interested in developing sustainable, environmentally conscious infrastructure, rather than constructing tall towers. Countries like Denmark are hoping to be completely carbon neutral in less than five years, which means they're investing money into their botanical gardens to produce clean air and accessible cycling routes to promote forms of pollution-free transportation. The eco-friendly European countries have noticed that after implementing these types of changes, their citizens have higher reports of happiness and general well-being. Asia and North America, on the other hand, are continuing to plan new residential skyscrapers, including the mega-tall Merdeka Tower in Kuala Lumpur. With the coronavirus pandemic still affecting the entire globe, construction for many mega-tall skyscrapers around the world has been put to a halt. The economic consequences have hit everyone, which means that it's simply not feasible to plan another tall tower right now for many countries. Plus, it has become significantly harder for architects to obtain permission for their future projects in current circumstances. That means the construction of any super tall buildings will probably continue to be delayed, at least for the time being. Even some countries in Asia, a place that has always been trying to build higher and higher skyscrapers, have legalized restrictions on the height of future towers. China has created a ban on buildings taller than 500 meters or 1,640 feet in height in hopes of preserving the current culture of the country. These types of rules are even more strict in places such as Bali, Indonesia. It is pretty unlikely that Europe will promote a ban that extreme, but the era of skyscrapers across the world is changing nonetheless. In the past, major corporations had their headquarters in skyscrapers. They often wanted to make a bold statement to show their success and power, and a super tall building was always considered to be the perfect way to do so. This is different today, since many large companies like Amazon and Apple did not choose to build a skyscraper in the past few decades. Instead, they have chosen to make uniquely shaped buildings with interesting features in order to set themselves apart. Amazon's headquarters, which is located in Seattle, Washington, is not the tallest tower in the city, but it is definitely the most interesting one. The building is shaped like a giant sphere and features rotating art displays, as well as a library room inspired by the Harry Potter series inside. With oddly shaped buildings becoming more and more popular, perhaps Europe will be home to a few in the future. For now though, we probably will not be seeing a new megatall skyscraper anytime soon there. What do you think about Europe not having any megatall skyscrapers? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.